how do you treat disc disease? I'm going to share with you how I treat disc disease. Now, this radiograph is of is is from a little three-year-old beagle dog, which presented to me because its old older owner had noted that it yelped once when she went down a little three-inch step at her front door. This dog had done this a hundred times before and had never yelped. She was concerned. When I examined the dog, all I found was mild discomfort, apparent pain, just caudal to the last rib. I told the lady that I would like her to keep the animal absolutely confined and to re-examine the dog in a few days. She wouldn't have a bit of it. She said, no, something's wrong. If you don't do it, I'm going to take the dog somewhere for x-rays. So, a little bit reluctantly, I did plain films on this dog, which were absolutely normal, and extremely reluctantly, I did a myelogram. And this is the ventrodorsal of the uh, projection of that myelogram. Look very carefully. This is the L1, L2 disc. The contrast column on the right side comes up and then deviates almost 50% of the width of the cord before being restored back to a normal position. On the right side, we have complete attenuation of the contrast column. There is a huge disc extrusion in this area, yet this dog had mild, apparent pain, one episode only. And hence, the need to recognize that clinical signs do not necessarily reflect the severity of a spinal cord compression.